God said, let there be light. And there was light and God saw that it was good. Every day, somebody wakes up with a mission to be light in their world. The funny thing about light is, it's the fastest thing that we know. It takes 1.25 seconds to travel from the earth to the moon. Every creature operates because of light. Even plants need light to survive. With light being this quick, this powerful, and as God said, this good. It's no wonder that God put this light inside of us to reflect into the darkness of our communities, our homes, our schools, and our world. For God said, let there be light in the darkness. And he has made this light shine in our hearts so we could know the glory of God that is seen in the face of Jesus Christ. You see, light is light. It doesn't change because of your circumstance, your skin color, or your age. My name is Andrea McGuirt. Lee Nagel. T.T. Staten. My name is Duval Young. This is Danny Hesterly. This is Eric Robertson. I am a teacher and huddle coach at Udawa High School. I'm the youth pastor at City Church. I'm the inner city rep for FCA. I'm a senior at Hickson High School. A senior at Signal Mountain High School. FCA to me is a reminder to stay focused. The ministry that plants seeds. The reason I teach. Stability throughout the week when everything is, is going crazy. Who introduced me to FCA? Mr. Brown. My basketball coach introduced me to FCA when, I, when he took us to team camp. A staff member named Will Campbell showed up to a Bible study I was going to for the first time. I by Chris Walker during the freshman orientation. I took a job at Udawa High School, and it was my first teaching position in high school and my first experience in a public school, and I struggled. From the minute I stepped in the door, it was a struggle, and I was ready to quit after my first year. And I, for two weeks, just prayed and prayed that the Lord would open up an opportunity for me to minister. I was walking through the hallways one day, and a teacher was coming toward me, and he had um, an Udawa shirt on that said FCA with a cross, and I did not know what that was. And because I was begging God for a way to serve in ministry, I stopped him, and I said, what is FCA, and how can I get involved? I see the cross. I want to know more. And when he started telling me about FCA and its purpose in the school, tears started running down my eyes because I had prayed for two weeks that God would introduce me to a way that I was legally allowed to minister in our building. And when I told him that, Gary Pickering started crying and he said, you're not going to believe this, but I have five girls who lead FCA and we have been praying every day after school for two weeks that the Lord would send someone to help us with FCA. Thank you, Coach Smith, for introducing me to the FCA people. It's been a great experience in my life and helped me stay on track. I'm sure uh, Chris Walker is watching this video and I would like to tell him thank you. Thank you for your heart uh, to serve. You guys are raising generations of, of leaders and it is great to see. Will, I love you, man. Uh, I consider you kind of like an older brother, and on the real, you were uh, you were the first person to ever show me who Jesus was, and uh, not only hold me accountable, but also the first person to truly walk life with me in a way that's that's healthy and uh, someone that you're the first person I can look up to in my life. I would like to thank Mr. Brown for introducing me to FCA, 
what got me out of my comfort zone and being the leader that I am today. Oh yeah, praise the Lord. You see, one light shines bright. No one lights a lamp and hides it under a basket. Jesus put it this way, let your light shine before men so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. At FCA, we encourage coaches, athletes, students, even you to let your light shine brightly. And when you do, sit back and watch God get the glory. One pass, one kick, one life at a time.